Hi Pearl and Axel and anyone else who's watching this video. It's Grandpa Neefsy and I'm back at Wolf Road Prairie. Today I want to show you two really interesting and unusual plants that bloom here at the end of July. The first one is called the compass plant and there's one right here next to me. It has big yellow flowers and it has leaves that tell you which direction is north and south. The second one is called the prairie dock and there's one right behind me. This plant right here and it has some of the biggest leaves you're ever going to see in your whole life. Plus it also has big beautiful yellow flowers. So let's get started and take a look at the compass plant. Compass plant is a perennial in the aster family, which is also called the daisy or sunflower family. It can grow as high as 12 feet, 3.6 meters, above ground and has a deep central tap root that can extend 15 feet, almost 5 meters, below ground. Compass plants can live for a hundred years. The basal leaves near the ground are one to two feet long and about half as wide. They are deeply indented and covered in fine white hairs. These large leaves are usually oriented in a north-south direction, which is why the plant is named compass plant. Higher up the stem, the leaves become alternate and much smaller. The central stem is thick, light to medium green, covered with many white hairs, and usually branches into several flowering stems. The stem has a rosinous gum in the center that Native Americans and early settlers used for chewing gum. This is why compass plant scientific genus is Silphium, which is the name for a rosinous plant. The flower stalk is very tall and elongated, holding many yellow composite flowers about three to four inches in diameter that bloom for about six weeks in midsummer and are easily visible above any tall prairie grasses nearby. They look like wild sunflowers, but unlike sunflowers, only the ray flowers produce fertile seeds, while the disc flowers are sterile. Long-tongued bees, like bumblebees, are the primary pollinators of the flowers. The seeds are large but flat and light enough that they can be carried a few feet by the wind. Goldfinches feed on them in the fall. According to Aldo Leopold, cattle and native bison, or buffalo, love to eat compass plants. Do you want some in a salad tonight? Prairie Dock is a perennial plant in the aster family. It can grow as high as 10 feet, 3 meters, above ground and has a deep central tap root that can extend 12 feet, almost 3.6 meters, below ground. There is a rosette of basal leaves near the ground that start out small but end up as huge elephant ear leaves, about one and a half feet long and one foot wide. These leaves are rough to the touch, a little like sandpaper. If you touch a prairie dock leaf on a hot summer day, it feels cool because the taproot is bringing cool water from deep below ground up to the leaf and then releasing some of it into the air by a process called evapotranspiration. In some plants, a smooth flowering stalk shoots up as high as 10 feet or more from the basal leaves. The stalk is red or green and near the top divides into a spray of yellow composite flowers and little round green flower buds. Sometimes the stalks create a strange looking forest out in the middle of the prairie. Like the compass plant, the stalks contain a clear sticky rosinous sap that smells like turpentine and gives the plant its scientific name of Silphium terabinthanaceum. Here's some rosin that is leaked out of the stem where a wasp made a hole in it. Each compound flower is about two to three inches, five to seven centimeters in diameter, and consists of 15 to 30 yellow ray flowers surrounding the central disc flowers. 
It blooms for about a month in late summer to early fall. Long-tongued bees, like bumblebees, pollinate the flowers. The large seeds are eaten by goldfinches in the fall. The seeds can be carried several feet by the wind. Cattle and bison like to eat the leaves and stems of prairie dock, just like the compass plant. Imagine watching a herd of mastodons moving through a forest of prairie dock stalks 12,000 years ago. What a sight that would be. So long for now.